You know, the uh, the world was um, was very different at that time. You know, south of Springfield, that block. It was just an open field at that time. Here. You know, I've seen old Bill run faster than that. Old Bill the dog. No one can outrun a dog, you ninny. Except Margaret, when you try to kiss her. Hey, shut up. <laughs> <sighs> well, I, I suppose when you, you only have one another, you, um, you take care of one another. Uh, Ryan, uh, he was he was like that. I mean, sure he he tease you, but but he always meant well. I suppose that was just the the brother in him, um, close, but not too smart. <laughs> the two of us, we we'd like to. I'd like to bite off more than we could chew. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go over the hey, are you listening? Are yeah, you listening? yeah, no, I'm listening. Yeah. Alright, see that girl over there? One. Alright, so you're gonna go over that to that girl. You're gonna say, hey doll face. You got a permit for those? Because you could kill a man dead. Guys like those. Okay, how is a line like that supposed to make a girl swoon? It don't even make no sense. Plus, what's with the face? No. No, it's about the face and the paws. See, so the paws is very important because it makes them feel a little secure, a little uncomfortable. But when you say, hey, doll face, with eyes like those, that's when she'll melt. Hey, okay, so imagine I go up there, I use your stupid mind, and then what are you supposed to do here? Just sit here like a third wheel? And plus, is she gonna be uncomfortable? Is she no, gonna, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna go do the other one. <laughs> what, what are you gonna say to her? You'll see. Hey, uh, where you think you're going, huh? <laughs> My buddy, your fly is down. What? Oh! <laughs> All right. Oh, hello, ladies. You got a permit for those? So you could kill them. Tell. Great night, ladies. I told you. I bet. I can't believe that worked. And it has like this dumb fun. Oh, like I said, uh, my pa died when we were young, serving in World War I. Uh, but out of school, I became something of an alcoholic. Um, Brian went off to basic to take after my father. I, I didn't. He, he knew what he wanted. He went after it. I, I didn't. But I, I didn't, I didn't know what he was doing. I, I just thought maybe he thought he was better than me. And, um, and in that way, I decided to wash away my self-pity in the most selfish way possible. Dear Lewis, I've completed basic training. Me and my regiment will be sailing to Europe soon. I know we didn't leave on good terms, and I hope you're doing all right. I never meant to hide what I was doing. I just thought it'd be better to tell you after. If anyone could have talked me out of it, it was you. But I didn't want that. I miss you, and I miss running. I miss fighting. I write whenever I can. I'll tell you all about the French girls when I see them, and I bet they're real purdy. I hope to hear from you soon. Your brother, Ryan.
I never, I never did return those letters. I, I was bitter and I was angry. And eventually I stopped reading those letters and eventually they stopped coming. And uh, I kept those letters for years. I, I put them away. And I harbored the feeling of bitterness for many years. But eventually, I forgot about it. And I moved on. I finally got my life back together. I became a teacher. And I had a family. But one day I, I happened across those letters and um, I read them. The last one that he wrote um, was, was found on him when he died. Uh, a buddy of his um, found it and he had the sense to send it to me. And um, it it uh, it wasn't one of those hero letters about greener pastures or pretty women. It was a letter about frustration. He felt alone, and it wasn't an empty void caused by the war. It was caused by me. And it was then I realized he didn't abandon me. I abandoned him. That I know now. Um, that's the thing about regret, kid. You know, it ain't regret unless you can't make it right. Cool.